What's up everybody? My name is Robert. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first YouTube video. I'm hoping many people are going to tune in. Alright, so I'm going to be making two different things. Desserts. Two different desserts. My version of chocolate covered strawberries and then dessert that I guess I created on my own. I don't really have a name for it. I just honestly put a bunch of things together. So let's start with the strawberries uh, so that I can make the other dessert while that one's in the oven. So I'm going to create my oven to the lowest heat, the lowest time, which is One seventy. So I'm gonna start it at one seventy, and so what you're gonna need for the chocolate covered strawberries are good old strawberries, chocolate syrup, maybe some marshmallows, maybe one marshmallow, and then you're good to go. All right. So let's put some strawberries on. We're going to put probably three in each row, um, if that would stay. doesn't matter the size of each and whatnot, it's all going in the same place. Alright, let's see if we have any... Break the marshmallow in half. Alright, so this is what we have so far. Do you see? That's what we got so far. Alright, so next, what I'm going to do literally easier than anything you'll ever do is take it, this chocolate syrup, and literally put over. Let's put this here. Alright, now normally, normally what I would do is I would take the stems off, but eh, whatever. Alright, so you see that's what it looks like over them. Alright, so we're almost good on the oven. Alright, so now we're going to put the strawberries away. We're done with the strawberries. Now, I do have everything out. Everything is set. Um, but I'll be honest, I'm not a professional cook. Or in this case, I'm not a professional baker professional chef, nothing like that. This is just me having fun, making what I love to make. And what I suggest when you cook, bake, do whatever in the kitchen, do it for yourself. Don't do it for anybody else. Yes, obviously do it for other people if you're making food for other people, but do it because you enjoy it. It doesn't matter if other people think it's gross and other people don't like it. As long as you like it, you're not hurting anybody. That's all that matters. So let's get in the oven. Alright. So I put it in literally for literally for seven minutes. That's it. You don't want to put it in for too long. So that's good. So now what we're going to do is Alright, All right, so now what we're going to do 
is take a regular styrofoam bowl and then we're going to take our peanut butter. This is not regular peanut butter, but I like this better. Kind of just spread it around. Spread it around like that. You know what? A spoon is easier. Way easier. Alright, so I'm gonna take this peanut butter, not put everything. So we're good with this. Alright, so the next what I'm gonna do is take this, take a couple of these nutter butter cookies and crunch them. Alright. And literally anybody could do this. Anybody could do these desserts. Again, it's my own version of things, but it's very easy because I'm not a recipe type of person. I don't I don't like following your recipe. It's way too stressful. I kind of honestly just like to throw things together that I think are good. Alright, so next we're going to take our cereal. Put that in there. Then, take one marshmallow. Just one and break it up into small pieces. So, take that. So that's what it looks like so far. Then take our chocolate syrup, put that around. All right. Then now again, this is gonna sound and look really, really, really weird, but it's all good. Take a little bit of almond milk, like literally a tiny, tiny little bit. That in there. Then take another styrofoam bowl. Got this. Then we're going to. Mix it together. Then, again, this is going to look really, 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 really odd. But it's all good, so I will do it. So take a cup. Take a cup. And... Put everything in the cup. And also that's a lot of peanut butter, so it's good that we're just switching it up into the cup. Alright. So now I'm just mixing it around in there. And it's okay if you get your hands a little dirty. It's all good. Alright, so that's good. Alright, 
It's going to be a lot to clean up, but it's all good. All right. So now, the next step of what I'm going to do is I am going to put this in the microwave for about 11 seconds. So that's going to go in there for 11 seconds, and then we'll see. Alright, so as you can see, everything, it looks disgusting, I know, but everything melted together and it tastes amazing. Alright, so now let me just put this stuff away. And I like to put everything away and take everything out and do all that on camera because, again, I'm not a professional. I'm not trying to be a professional. I'm just trying to show you how I really am. And I don't keep everything out all the same time usually. I'm just kind of grabbing everything as I go because, like I said, I don't follow a recipe, so I like to just put everything together as I go. Alright, so let me put this in there. Alright, so that's ready to, so let's get that out. It's going to be hot, so I'm going to put it out of the oven and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. 